Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to do um, a quick review and give my opinion on this uh, Ferrex 600 watt palm router. Uh, I was looking for something uh, reasonably reliable and cheap and I bought this when I was shopping in Aldi here in the UK for around £35 or so. So um, yeah, let's take a closer look at it. Right, so uh, this is everything that it came with um, straight out of the box. I bought it from an Aldi store when I was there shopping, so I bought this with my own money. Um, here's the unit. So uh, I'll just give you a closer look at the unit. 600 watts. It has an on and off switch here. And then it has um, this cover here, which allows you to control the depth of what you're working on. And you can see there's a, there's a guide here. And that comes off that allows you to change the bit so I've put my own bit in here but uh, it did originally come with a bit so I actually got a bit with it and uh, that is the bit which is a standard straight cut bit that's what came with it so um, there's a spanner that comes with it as well and uh, that's what you use to change bit so you push this in to keep everything because that will spin you push this in to keep it still and then you can undo that so you've got your little gauge here from 0 to 30 millimeters and then when you put it back on there's a little line here that tells you how deep you are so you can set it and when you're happy with where it is you can clamp it back in position. Okay. Um, there's an opening here. I assume that is for when you need to change the brushes in the machine. And there's a plate on the bottom here. So on the other side, you've got uh, this knob here, which comes out, and that allows you to attach um, other fixings. And I'll show that in a moment. So apart from the unit, you also get, uh, as I say, a spanner to uh, change the bits. Uh, you get some various add-ons, um, guides and things. There's two here. This one's sort of similar to uh, the way a circular, a circular saw works. Helps you to guide along an edge. And the same with this one. I um, haven't really used these guides they help you to keep a straight line and it comes with uh, this fitting and I believe this is for if you're making some templates for um, say for a sign for example and you want to keep cutting the same thing again and again you would use this template but I haven't used that yet so it also came with a bag carry bag just a standard carry bag And here's the box. Just take a closer look at the, uh, the box. 600 watts and 35,000 RPM. Drill capacity, quarter inch. Interested to, uh, to know how much this unit weighs. I thought I'd give it uh, a weigh. So what have we got? Okay, 1,468 grams, so around a kilo and a half. So fairly lightweight and good in the palm. I found it fine, absolutely fine. Uh, I will say one thing that when you turn it on, just be ready for the initial surge because when you flick that switch it will start to spin and it might sort of move slightly so just hold it with a firm grip when you switch it on and then you can actually put it in position it's pretty much it for everything that comes in the box I bought my own set of uh, bits to use with this device as I say you do get a bit with it which is quite good a standard sort of bit comes in the box and I've been using various types of bits recently in projects, um, different shapes, 
to give different finishes. So now I'm going to just give you a, a look at me using it, so the machine in action. So, as I say, I've been using it for several months, um, doing various projects, and mainly just using it to round over edges of wood. So that is a piece of pallet wood. And here I'm just using a standard round over bit. Um, the top here is some white spruce, again just using the router to round over the edges. And this is another piece of pallet wood. And you can see there I've made a nice effect with a different type of bit. And I also used it to uh, round over some MDF. So that's about it guys for the uh, Ferex 600 watt palm router. I've been using it for the last four months. I think it cost me around 35 pounds and I bought it in the store, um, the Aldi store when I was shopping. It takes a little bit of getting used to if you haven't used one before, but pretty uh, straightforward and simple to use. Just uh, do be careful when you're using them because they can be quite dangerous. Um, probably wear gloves and goggles and things and just watch where this bit is because the RPM is really fast on these. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching and uh, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos and I'll see you next time.